welcome or welcome back to Trouble with Tish. I am Tish and I be trouble. Today, as you can see, we are doing a declutter. <laughs> it's the same thing I did last year. Um, I have used this same piece of material to cover my table for the last year. As you can see, it is uh, stained up with makeup and we can change it after our declutter, but not before. All right. So if you want to see what I'm keeping and what I'm getting rid of, then stick around. Troubles on the mind, hands around your throat, out in open waters trying to stay afloat. Remember to forget the future and the All right. We have, first off, we have brow stuff. We have this e.l.f. wax. I'm not really sure how to use this. Um, and I haven't been using it. So I think we should pass it along to someone who does know how to use it. So we have our first victim. Sorry, elf. All right, then we have the AOA Studio Slim Brow in dark brown. That's fine. That is a good color. It is still nice and creamy. So we're going to keep that. Then we have the Real Her Definer Brow Pencil. I am inspiring. Um, I use this on a regular basis. It is the correct shade and it is still nice. So we're keeping that. Then we have the Morphe Micro Brow Pencil, Micro Crayon in Java. And I like this. It is a bit more cool toned than the other two. So I will keep that. Then we have Pink Lips Browed Up in Dark Brown. Again, has a spoolie on one side and that has to be warmed up before it will leave anything. So I think we're gonna declutter that as well. Then we have the Wander Beauty Frame Your Face Micro Brow Pencil in dark brown. And that one is a little more tuggy as well. So I think we're going to get rid of that. All right, moving on to, oh wait, we have another brow pencil. This is Unibrow Precision by Winky Lux. I do not see a shade. Yeah, that's not writing either. So we will get rid of that. All right. We have this Dip Brow Medium Brown by ABH. I have not used it. Um, I'm going to, I don't know. We're going to set that aside. All right. Then we have the ABH Clear Brow Gel. I like the spoolie. We are going to keep that. We have the Eye Sculpt Eye Shade Brow Gel in Dark Brown from Juvia's Place. I like that one as well. So we're going to hold on to that one. Then we have Max Hold Clear Brow Gel from Melt. I've not tried that one. It looks a little funky, but we will give it a try. I'm trying to make myself use that one. Then we have Elf Enhancing Lash and Brow Serum. I don't know why I have brow serum in there, but we're going to keep this and put this in skincare. Now, I have brow pencils and I have brow gels. I've not tried this. I think I need to force myself to try this. So we're going to keep this and if I haven't used it by next year, we're just going to get rid of it. There's no point in keeping it if I'm not using it. And that is what we are keeping for brows. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven brows that we are, brow products that we are keeping, four that we are decluttering and one that's not actually a brow product. So we're doing good so far. All right, then we have liquid eyeliners. We have the Eye Method Beauty um, wing stamps. They have a stamp on one side for left and right, and then they have the felt liner on the other side. These are awesome. I am keeping them. All right, then we have the KBD uh, Trooper Black Tattoo Liner. It's a brush tip. I do like that tip, so we will keep that. Then we have the Melt Perfectionist Brow Ultra Fine Pen in Universal Brown. That seems to be that it's drying out a little. I think we'll keep it for a little bit longer. No, we're going to declutter that. We don't need it. We've got other stuff. <laughs> All right, then we have the Ico London I Do Liquid Eyeliner. That's where I draw the line. Right? It is a felt tip. And it is also. 
also drying out, so we are going to declutter that as well. Kaleido Cosmetics, waterproof liquid eyeliner in Obsidian. It is a felt tip. It is also dried out, so we will declutter that. And we have this ZC, it's an eyeliner on one side and shadow stick on the other. Don't use the shadow stick side. This is a gel eyeliner, I guess. Um, I think I'm going to declutter that. All right, then we have this Heart Candy Marilyn Monroe um, eyeliner in a glitter liquid eyeliner. It is a brush tip. And that is, I just love that blue. We're keeping that. Then we have another ZC eyeliner. This one is white. It is a brush tip. Keeping that. Eyeliner that is red. That is an amazing red. So definitely keeping that. Then we have ColourPop liquid liner in the hills. And this is a felt tip. And that is a beautiful green. We are definitely keeping that. So for liquid eyeliners, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven that we are keeping and four that we are decluttering. All right, I think we're doing good. Let me see, I will so I will see if I can put the percentages of what I'm decluttering on the screen that way, you know? But I'm not great at percentages, so um, <laughs> if I can figure it out, that's what we'll do. All right, next up we have eyeliners. These eyeliners are quickly. Alright, so we're going to go through the black ones first. This is my favorite eyeliner. It's the Avon uh, True Colors Glimmer Stick in Blackest Night. I have that one and that one and these three that are opened. I don't know why I have three that are opened, but they're my favorite we're keeping. All of them. All right, then we have the ColourPop Cream Gel Liner in Swirt. It is nice and creamy. There's nothing wrong with it. Here, I'll show you what the tell that one's well left. These ones stay on. The Avon ones, they stay on. Like, you can't get rid of them. All right, then we have the Smashbox Always On uh, Gel Liner in Fishnet. Now, this one I, I messed up and I used it uh, to do a Halloween look. This one as well. There is nothing wrong with them. I just need to sharpen them. So we are going to keep these and sharpen them. And then I just got this one. It is uh, FMG Cashmere 24 Hour Cream Eyeliner. I got this from Renee. It is black brown. It is a brown, almost black eyeliner. We're going to keep that. Okay, Urban Decay 24-7 Glide on Eye Pencil. Um, I'm going to keep this one. I think I'm going to get rid of the Pixie by Petra and the Smashbox. This is Hard Candy Stroke of Gorgeous. I have no actual pencil liners, so I'm going to keep that. All right, and then we have the Persona 24 hour waterproof eyeliner. That is massively creamy. We'll keep that. We're gonna start, well, gray to, oh no, that's silver. I am a sucker for silver eyeliners. This is the Andean. It's not really as much silver as it is gray. I'm gonna declutter that one. Don't need that one. Georgiana, and this is Jordana Glitter Rocks. This one is really old, and I have this one, so I'm gonna declutter that one hurts. That used to be my favorite eyeliner. It was the only eyeliner I wore other than black back in the day. And then we have this LA Colors Gel Eyeliner in Tail Shimmer, and it is a silvery, bluey color. It is beautiful in the waterline. I'm keeping that. I don't want it to get lost in my colored eyeliners though. 
And this one is the Melt All Day Every Day Metal Bond Eyeliner in RX Queen. That's more of a cobalt color. We have the LA Color Auto Eyeliner in white. I've not opened this. I have other white eyeliners. In fact, I have another LA Color Eyeliner right here that's not even opened again. I think I'm going to pass this one along. And I'm going to open this one up and keep it. Alright. Yeah. Good choice, good choice. Alright, and then we have the ColourPop uh, Cream Gel Liner. That LA Color one looked a little bit wider there. Maybe it's me. Alright, and then this is uh, the Melt All Day Every Day in Porcelina. And then this is Heart, Can Heart Candy Take Me Out Liner, and it's white. It's a pencil. That's why I've kept it. I am going to continue to keep it like this. Sometimes you just need a pencil. Now for the browns. I'm going to do it like this. This one's kind of gold. It's the ColourPop gel liner in a Dirty Talk, and there's nothing wrong with that. We're keeping it. This is the uh, ColourPop in Get Paid. It's like a bronze. Copper. It's a copper for sure. That, that's penny colored. That's pretty. All right, and then we have the one Overboard. That is so creamy. And then we have the ColourPop liner with uh, Raw Beauty Christie, and this is Woodsy. It's actually one of my favorite liners. If I'm going to use a brown, that's usually what I'm going to go for. And then this one in Call Me. And that is a darker brown. I didn't do very good. <laughs> All right, so we are keeping one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two. Black, brown, silver, and white eyeliners. And we are getting rid of one, two, three, four, five. Maybe we will do better with our next category. And that is our colored eyeliners. It's a lot of colored eyeliners. wondering if these should go in with the others that are brown. We have the Melt in Rosalents. And we have the Melt in Baked. And that one seems more of a mustardy color. I'm going to put that with the mustardy yellows there. This is the Hyundaiian. Watched too well. All right, this is the Tinkerbell ColourPop Lost Girl. Ooh, it's coming out. Didn't feel like it swatched too well either. We have Melt and Dusk. That's orangey. I'm gonna put that with the oranges. These don't have colors, they just are. And that looks yellowy. That would be yellow. I think I'm going to declutter these two. So, and I'm going to add those to the other eyeliner category. Alright, nice clean hand for swatching. First off, we have. 
have these. This one is the Danessa Myrix um, in Jade. Now these are uh, either multi-chrome or duochrome. I'm not really sure which, but they are shifty. And they actually look very stunning in the waterline. I'm not getting rid of that one. This is from She Glam Chromosome, Chromosome Collection. And this is in a Vertigo. getting rid of any of those. They are beautiful. All right, then we have our purple eyeliners. All right, we have two from ColourPop. That's nice. And then this one, which broke at some point, which is a nice lavender. And then we have these two from Handayan. That one didn't swatch as well. Watch is fine. I'm going to keep that one. And then from LA Colors, we have the Neon Gel Eyeliner in Enchanted. That one doesn't swatch too nicely. It kind of feels waxy. So I'm going to keep these three and get rid of these two. All right, for blue eyeliners. We have a lot of blue eyeliners. All right, we have this one from Scone. Pretty Eyes Automatic Eyeliner in Navy. Ew, that's waxy. All right, then we have this Illuminati Gel Paint in Electric Blue. Mm, that one doesn't feel nice either. And then we have Avon True Color Glimmer Stick in Midnight Blue. This is the same color. And then this one is in Teal Sparkle. That's pretty. Then we have Color Pot. This one is Zulu. This one is in Prance. And this one is in Dyla. <laughs> that one over there is getting a little frisky with the other ones here. And then we have the Hyundaiian. That's not as nice as the other ones. We're going to put that to the side there. And another Hyundaiian. That's one. That one's swatched nice. Okay, then we have LA Colors. And this is in the shade Wonder. Then we have some that I haven't quite opened yet, so we're gonna open these. All right, first we have the shade Swell, which is nice, and this one is Hypnotic. All right, I think I'm gonna get rid of this one, the Hyundaiian, which is this one, because next to the ColourPop and this one, it's not so. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine blue highlighters and get rid of four. Then we're gonna go pinks and reds in the, this new one. So this one is the Illuminati Gel Paint and Electric Pink. That is still good. This is the Color Pop in Honey Dude. It's a nice nude. The color pop in Insomniac. Oh, that's bright. All right, then we have Hyundaiian. Just kind of a different color paint. These are all different colors. We have another Hyundaiian. That one is red, kind of pinky red. This one is a metallic red. I 
don't think I'm going to get rid of any of these. I like all of those. So we're keeping one, two, three, four, five. Alright, then we have yellow. So we're going to go over these ones. This one is the melt one. And it was kind of mustardy. This is LA Colors in Citrus. That's bright. This is one from Hyundaiin which is gold. Then we have the Marigold shade from the Raw Beauty Christie collection. I don't know where that stopped. So I'm going to keep all of these. One, two, three, four, five, six yellows. All right, we have oranges here. We have, first we have a ColourPop in Unz. as well. And then we have greens. These are all ColourPop. This is in Fast Lane. And this is in Spare Time. It's from the Raw Beauty Christie collection. This is Fly With Me from the Tinkerbell collection. I don't know about that one. This is Teaspoon. This is Electric Daisy. And we have a Hyundaiian one. That one is much as like that one. That's not really all that great. All right, then we have the Glimmer Stick in Olive that we got from Renee the other day. That is Budimus. Then we have an LA Colors Neon Eyeliner in Manic. And then this is a shadow stick. It's from Flower Beauty Eyes on the Prize. I like greens. I'm not sure about a shadow stick. I think I'm going to declutter this one. And I think I'm going to declutter these two. So that's three that I'm decluttering. Six that I'm keeping from the greens. So I'm getting rid of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirty. And I'm keeping thirty-seven. Alright, let's move on. So now we have mascaras. We have the Wonder Beauty Mile High Club, which I like. We have the Pat McGrath Labs Dark Star Mascara. And that one's still good. We're going to keep that one. We have the CoverGirl Clump Crusher Water Resistant Eyeliner. See, I'm having a problem with these. They keep drying out. So we're going to declutter that one. And I have the L'Oreal Paris Telescopic Lift. Still good. We have the Maybelline Sky High. And that is still good. We have the Maybelline New York, uh, the Falsies Lash Lift. I'm not a fan of this one. I don't like the brush. So we're going to get rid of that one. The Essence Lash Princess False Lash Effect. It's one of my favorite ones. We have the Urban Decay Perversion Bigger Blacker Back, Bigger Blacker Batter. And then the Thrive Liquid Lash Extension. I'm going to declutter this one, the Pat McGrath. I'm not a fan of the brush style so much, so we're going 
going to declutter that. Princess is the uh, the not waterproof version, and that seems to be a little bit dried out. So we are going to declutter that one. This is the ColourPop volumizing mascara, and it is left on red, and it is dried out. London. Let's say triple threat mascara. Still good. We have the anti gravity mascara from Milani. Ooh, I haven't tried that one yet. So we're gonna try that one. This is the. Oh, lash it out loud. Volumizing mascara. It's still good. This is the Milk Makeup Kush Waterproof. Right. And this is the Stila Huge Extreme Lash Mascara. Up, we have potted liners. We have from Melt, OK Boomer, Prissy, and Onyx. Cosmetics. They're from Teresa's uh, release. I kept the things on them. Look, they're, they're dried out. I like some of these. I didn't even get to use them. Like this one, I didn't get to use. So we are decluttering these, and we will never, ever, ever buy another liner from Lethal again. They need to step up their game. Alright, then we have AOA liners. These ones cost a dollar. These are the buttercream gel liners. This one is in blueberry. <laughs> and it is still... I just leave the uh, foil on there as an extra layer of protection. I'm worried things like that are going to happen. This is Sprinkles. Oh. This one's dried out. But it dried down to a putty. Those ones just dried down. I'm going to declutter this one. And I'm glad I keep the foils on those ones. Alright, this is from Lele Posh. It's a water activated liner. 
liner in metallic rose. I've never activated it with water. I am worried that I will mess it up. It is a beautiful single. I wonder if I can take that out and put it with normal singles. I cannot. I think I'm going to declutter that. All right, and this is FMG Glimmer uh, Tumbleweed. It's an Avon, and it is still good. And this is the Inkblot Girl line, which is fun. So I'm keeping one, two, three, four, five, six, and I'm decluttering one, two, three. Or five, so almost half. All right, and last but not least, we have my liquid shadows. I didn't know where to put these. They don't really go with like potted liners or anything like that. So we're just gonna put them here, and uh, it's mighty clutter, so I can do what I want to do. <laughs> All right, so let's start off with this. This is from Too Faced. It's in the shade Licorice. 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 I don't know. I'm not sure about that one. I'm gonna set that to the side. From Flower Beauty, we have Warrior Glitter Shadow in Camo. I like that one better. So we're gonna keep this one. All right, and then from Magical Essence. Oh, it's Magical Essence from VE Cosmetics in the shade Love is Always the Answer. Holy cheese balls. Yeah, that's a keeper. All right, and then I have these two from Chantico Beauty, and I don't see uh, names on these, so we're gonna go with this one. Oh, that's pretty. Keep that one. And then this one. Yeah. I like that from my corner. So we're keeping that one. Alright. Then we have from Sydney Grace. Uh, Phoenix. These ones are a little bit different. There's that one. Flame Throw RLC 21 FL. I don't know what that means. But I don't need to. Oh yeah. Definitely keeping that one. And then we have Cranberry Struzel. Actually, these two shades kind of remind me of somebody, and I would like to pass those along to them. So I'm going to kind of declutter, but I'm going to send them to somebody. This one is going to declutter. All right, then we have from She Glam, Fool's Gold. As I'm going through these, I'm realizing more and more I want to declutter this one from a flower beauty. It's just not up to snuff, I guess. And then we have from Elf. I cannot read. I think that says Supernova. It's kind of metallic. Purple Rain. This is glittery. I don't like the glittery ones. I think I'm going to declutter that. I mean, I'll probably declutter these two that are glittery too. Okay, what color is this? Ocean Eyes. Sheathing Eyes. That is blue. Blue, blue. So pretty. 
metallic cape in that. And then mermaid shimmy. Yeah, I'm not a fan of the glittery ones. It feels like it disrupts the formula a bit. This is 24 karat gold. is Copper Pop. Alright, I'm going to pass these along to someone who I think will like them. I'm going to keep them. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 10, 11. I'm keeping 11. And I'm decluttering 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So these ones will go over here and these ones are going to go to a friend. So this concludes our first declutter. I am going to move through the categories and see if we can't pare down my collection just a little bit more. I would like to one, get my collection to a manageable place and two, get my collection a little more me-centric. I want everything I like and nothing I don't. So, we will continue our declutter on the next color. Alright, so if you like this kind of thing, go ahead, like, comment, subscribe, all of that good stuff. I hope every single one of you has an absolutely amazing day, and I will see you all next time. Bye. Troubles on the mind, hands around your throat, out in open waters trying to stay afloat.